but Tyrone Woodley, they, he really is the chosen one. We chose him to get his ass beat. <laughs> Five-time UFC champion, da-da-da, explosive, da-da-da, knockout power. That's all cool, but none of that matters Sunday night. And I'm sending him into retirement, turning him into a meme, and people will see, oh, my gosh, this kid can fight. He's got skills. He can take a punch. That gas tank is nice. That inside fighting is nice. That body work is nice. That jab is nice. That one-two is nice. Oh, and then he came with the overhand right. That, oh, that's nice. Oh, we got a hook, too. We got a check hook. Oh, my God. People are going to be surprised. I haven't shown shit. I can fight Southpaw, too. I might come out Southpaw. I haven't even shown that yet. So, yeah, this is my coming out party. Explain that to us. I'm almost falling asleep over here. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm almost falling asleep over here because it's kind of Yeah, disgusting. you're going to be falling asleep on Sunday, it's bitch. It's kind of disgusting. It's kind yeah, of disgusting. You, 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 get, you better sleep this whole week. It's kind of disgusting. Week. Get your naps in. It's kind of disgusting how much of a clown people feel they have to be to be recognized. It's, it's disgusting how much clout people have to chase. And when you really look into what the word clout means, it's the appearance of authenticity. It's the appearance that you're the real deal. It's the appearance that you really about that action, but I don't really like that. At the end of the day, walking around looking foolish, where the fuck is your shirt at, number one? Number two, you know, you this can say what game. you want. We're fighting you can, on Sunday with no say, shirt on. You, you can say what you want to say, but you do what you think you're supposed to do based upon what we've done. When I say we, I say fighters. Jumping up on the ring and screaming and yelling and doing the memes and all this other stuff. The whole money thing, the whole bling thing, that's all built to, to build the fight. But we here. I ain't got shit to say. You getting hurt on Sunday. And in a way you ain't timbers. never felt. All your sugarcoating ass, cheerleading ass, fucking cheerleading ass Shiver people that's around you have lied to you. They're not hurting you. They don't want to lose their bag. They're not fucking pushing you. So when you get in a Sunday, you can wear whatever you want to wear. You can come out with that dumbass robot. You can do whatever you want. You will get fucking knocked out. You can make as many bets. The only thing I bet on is myself. And I've been betting on that the whole time. So I'm just really, to be honest, sorry, all the people in the media, I'm just ready to fight. <laughs> I ain't got no shenanigans. I ain't got no BS. I ain't got no razzle-dazzle. I should have brought my dog some dew wipes to clean himself up after I knocked the shit out of him on Sunday. That's the only thing I regret not bringing. Is the bet still on? It was Don't never leave. a bet. It oh, was yeah. just him saying that I, I worship Tyron. He's a legend. I played him on a video game in career mode, and I want to get his name tattooed on me. That's all I heard. I didn't hear a bet because there's no way you fucking beat me on Sunday. Yeah, I got a tattoo artist coming to tattoo you after I knock you out. I wish you brought so your look, tattoo artist because I mean, you're comfortable with them. You shook and on they've it. They've done many tattoos. If you're a man, you get word, I love Tyrant. You don't even have to do it, Batman. Pay me a bag and I'll let you slide. I already my paid you a bag. Pay my charity a bag and I'll let I, you slide. I already paid you a bag. And yesterday you were talking pay about me another oh, bag. this kid doesn't, he's not real. Well, pay me another bag and pay the reporters a bag too. They need more money. Pay them a bag. I paid you four times more than you've ever been paid. I paid you four times more than you've ever been paid. Pay all the reporters double what they're making. You should be thanking me, son. I'm going to thank you by punching you in a fucking Kiss the throat. ring, son. Um, the thing about this fight, it's a fight. It's not the YouTuber versus the TikToker versus this versus that. This is a real fight. You know what I mean? If you, if you look at the way that we're even just built and you look at the determination, this is a fight. And some people before was brainwashed and they was tricked into a point of taking it lightly. And I feel like that's why they came up short. To the, to the first day we signed it, even before we signed it, I was jogging, I was getting ready because I didn't know if it was going to be a fight. It was always a fight. And for me, being able to train and being able to have just the fun again and the passion behind it and being pressed in a different way made it great. So I can't really speak for everybody, but I feel like this fight in particular is the only one of this new sizzle realm of, you know, the entertainment aspect really exploding in combat sport. That's a real fucking fight as well. No real respect, you know. I'm going to show on Sunday that getting a UFC championship doesn't mean shit in the, in the world of boxing, to be honest. So I, I don't respect what he's done at all. Honest. So I, I don't respect what he's done at all. Uh, and, you just said you did two seconds ago. And, and to be honest, Fucking clown. <laughs> to be honest, it started in the locker room with the Ben Askren fight. You know, after he got choked out in the first round, I told him, I said, you and your best friend are going to have a lot in common after tonight. You're both 
got finished in the first round. You remember what I that's, told you? And, that, and that's that's really where it started. You remember what I told you? I, I don't. I was knocking out your, your friend and focused on that. Do you want to tell everyone what you told me, buddy? Uh, I don't need to. I'm going to show you on Sunday. Follow-up question for Tyron. Do you feel like you're being overlooked in some aspects because of how the UFC career ended and how Jake is kind of talking to you? Do you feel like people have underestimated what you're going to bring to the ring on a Sunday? We talk, we saying talking, right? He ain't showed me shit yet. So at the end of the day, I don't feel like I've been underestimated. I feel like the real recognize real. Anybody that has a, a flicker in their bone or old school that really can just, you know, say what they really believe and not what they think sounds cool. Anybody who can really see the training, the mindset, the, you know, the intensity that I've been putting in this camp. You got like no. three different coaches. <clears throat> Floyd Mayweather did one workout with you, and we haven't heard from him since. So I think he knows something that we don't know. Where are you? Back to what I was saying, because I don't even know what that pig lad was. But at the end of the day, um, I don't. I don't really get into what people say because I'm out to say anything. I'm about action. Jake over here, relatively charming, relatively handsome. Why is it that so many people around the world want to see you not only lose, but be embarrassed and sent to that place where time doesn't exist? Why is that? Well, I think just going off of what you're saying, jealousy is one of the you know, biggest evils in this world. And I think there's a lot of people that are jealous that don't think I deserve to be in this spot, you know, that wish they could be here. And I'm polarizing. I get it. You know, I'm loud. I do stupid shit. I go to press conferences with my shirt off because I don't give a fuck what people think. And most people aren't like that. They, they hold what's inside their mouths. They you know, are scared to rub people the wrong way. I, I don't give a shit. No, the haters don't sign my paycheck. I do. So, you know, that's why people don't like me. That's why some people want to see me lose. They think this is a circus. They don't think this is good for boxing. Well, guess what? It is. I'm here to stay, and I'm going to knock out this fucking guy and move on to the next one. I am overlooking Tyrone Woodley. You know, most people sit up here like Fury, and he's like, oh, I have a tough opponent. No. When I know what's going to happen, when I'm confident in my skill, I'm already thinking about the next opponent. Based on three Why fights. do you think this guy's sitting right behind <laughs> me right now? Well, when know you what? know what's going to happen, you're confident time in your preparation. Don't mention my know, name out of that garbage what, mouth of yours. When you know what's going to happen, it's easy. This is an easy sport. Why would you not buy and come out to this fight? And it goes down this Sunday, August 29th. It is 8 p.m. That is 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 Eastern, Showtime, pay-per-view. You can purchase the fight right now, Showtime.com, through it through the Showtime app, all the major cable satellite providers. Or In a female fight on your card. Sorry, you might steal the show. but <laughs> we, Amanda and I have a bet to see who's going to get a doper knockout. <laughs> Ah, I don't have that much money. Remember, I am a female boxer. <laughs> no, remember, the bet is like we have to jump in the ocean or something like that. Remember? Okay, okay. We'll, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about it. We'll talk about it. But, uh, you know, thank you so much for putting your faith in, in me. What can you guarantee them that they are going to see Sunday night? It's time to go big. All aspects, all categories. I'm going crazy. Uh, you know I me. Mean? At the end of the day, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I'm, I'm blessed for the moment, blessed for the opportunity, thankful for the coaches in my corner, the people that surround me. I'm thankful for the haters. I'm thankful for the people that counted me out because all it was was just for me reassuring. Anytime you get adversity, anytime you get the BS and all the, all the people that are coming against you, that tells you that it's so much power for what you're about to do. And I'm about to make a scene on Sunday. Jake, same question. For the people who are going to buy this pay-per-view, they're going to come out to the Rocket Mortgage Field House. What can you guarantee them? on Sunday night. Look, another show, another masterful performance, a boxing clinic. You know, people know how I'm coming. 3-0, three, oh, three KOs, that's for a reason. I didn't even get warmed up in my last fight, so this guy's gonna go to sleep and he's gonna get it turned into <laughs> another meme, like I said, just like his best friend, his, his little guy, Ben Askren, who he was in the corner of. Turned him into a meme. Ended his career. After Sunday, no one ever is going to talk about retired, this guy. He, no he one's ever going to talk about this guy ever again. He's a speed bump in the road of the Jake Paul career. He's a body. You a dingleberry. He's a, I'm about to he's a body. Off, so. He is a body that I am using to clown, add dude. content to my highlight reel. Look at you. You.